Hi ladies, I am um, trying something new. I had quite a few of you say to me um, that you couldn't all, they couldn't always be on Facebook, so could you do something on Instagram? So what I would, thought I would do, oh God, can technology work for me? I don't know. Is I thought I would do a, a um, simultaneous transmission. That's what I thought I would do, a simultaneous transmission. So I'm putting on um, live on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, don't watch on both because it will really freak you out. And also the quality is very different. But, you know, I'm giving, trying to do something. So here we go. Yay, good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Julia. Okay, checking connection. It doesn't particularly like the connection. 321 is Instagram going as well. I'm now live on Instagram, okay. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, Facebook. This is effing weird. But anyway, I have got lots of things that I want to show you this weekend uh, that I bought. I went into Neil's yard. Love Neil's yard. And I've got some fake hair, some new ideas for fake hair I want to show you. But I'm going to start with, because I just need to start with a good morning routine. And for those of you who say, there's a few very nice ladies who comment and say, you really tell me that you do that every morning. I don't. This is my Monday morning routine and it's early for me. But usually I wake up on a Monday having really, wait for it now, overindulged in sugar. Oh, which is a killer because I have tried to be fantastic around sugar for the last, I was really good around sugar for a month and then about two weeks ago those little tiny ice cream things started appearing again. Um, so I trying to have one thing of dark sugar a night and one little ice cream tiny droplet all right but during the day i'm generally good i'm starting with my favorite omorozovica um her scrub which smells incredible it is quite expensive it's one of my favorite scrubs as a morning scrub routine because the smell wakes me up and whilst we're talking smell good morning penny good morning tanya um, good morning, Suzanne. Good morning. And then all those lovely, sweet people on weird people sometimes on Instagram, but also some nice people. There's some very odd people. Morning from Liverpool. Bruv. Good morning from Somerset. Log lady. Remove clothing. Dance to see you look naked. You see, on on. We're going to ignore those boys. Um, and I've got Victoria with me. Are you on Instagram as well? Yes. Can you see comments? I can. So what Victoria's going to do? God, I love her for getting here this early. Is she's going to be looking at Instagram comments if there's any interesting ones? Because I know it's it's sort of there's some weird, rather racy kind of foreign boys who I think go onto Instagram and just start to say rude comments. But we'll totally ignore them. Um, so, ladies, good morning, Jill. I've got a few things here, but what I'm going to start with, whilst this is just scrubbing, actually, no, I'm going to put on my next mask. So we'll just scrub that off. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Um, uh, good morning. Uh, my video, let me know if you appreciate it. What did she say? Something? Can you read that, darling? I can't read it. Hold on. Let me just scroll back there. What did you say? I'm burning my roast pork listening to you, Trini, but it's all worth it. Roast pork? Oh, it must be evening somewhere. Um, pro makeup artist just shared your video. Let me know if you appreciate it. Hello, I, I don't know if you have, but that's very nice of you. Okay, so scrubbing is done. This morning routine is quite an intense one, just to let you know. And this is for when you really feel you would love to go and get, have somebody give you a facial, but you're gonna do this instead and it will be better than anyone giving you a facial. Unless there are doing a kind of peel. So scrubbing, cleaning my face is the first thing. So I've got a really good surface in which I'm going to do anything to it. And that's why I do believe in a physical scrub. A lot of people believe in a alpha hydroxy kind of scrub or an exfoliation of that side, of that type. But I just want to feel my skin really has nothing on it. And even though I slept last night and I took my makeup off, I still want that tightness and cleanness. And then I'm gonna put on, you know I usually love the Glyco Peel, but today I'm going to arrange that I used for many years and I just remembered one of their, my favorite products, which is, but it's cosmetics, cosmetics, M-E-D-I-X, and it's um, their Pure Enzyme Mask. It's an orange mask 
and it's just got very good natural enzymes in it that are going to eat away at any dead skin cell and when I put this one on hello hello anyone okay that's fine any hello from Norway I can't Crystal hello hello um and I do you ever use Environ I do use Environ lots of you ask me about Environ and I did use Environ I used um you, you know it goes in stages the blue system and I started with one and I found that incredibly weak I went very quickly up to four and I think it's a great range by the way we've got the product what's it no we're getting the product from South Africa the one that's meant to make the saggy underarm um Dermastine. So I don't know if any of you have used it, but we've tracked down because a lovely lady who works for me called Fleur, her, she has a friend who's, her grandfather's friend is in South Africa and he asked his doctor there to get, anyway, so complicated, but we're getting it. And I'll let you know because my sister swears by this product. And I think there's many women who get to an age where this bit underneath does tend to worry us a bit and I'll tell you some things I do for that by the way just my mad morning routine um, let me just get a product to show you that I'll take some of M&S's formula a which is actually meant to go on the face but I need something to do this so when I feel blah about my arms there's many things I could do I could lie on the floor and do the plank all right but lying on the floor and doing plank is not something at the moment that I have much time for. I don't have much time to do exercises. So, good morning from Glasgow on Instagram here. Brandon, good morning. Hello. Hello, everyone on Instagram. I will um, do a little bit of a pinching. So I just kind of want to stimulate that skin. And I'll do this in the shower. I'll just pinch away at that skin and I used to have this madman years ago called Julio and he would come along and he would pinch my cellulite so I kind of believe in the pinching method and also the real rubbing method so imagine just you're stimulating so you don't get that sort of fat build up or the saggy skin because two things happen when we get older either we get that sort of menopausal weight that goes on our upper body or lower body, or we just get skin that sags, and it sags because perhaps our weight's gone up and down, it sags because basically the elasticity has gone. Therefore, elastin, elasticin, this product which has 3% elastin in it, is gonna help, all right? So I'm gonna do that. I do that in the shower probably every three or four days. Um, another thing we have to consider is how good are vitamins that you take inside your body. So I've been doing a little bit of research and you know I have my vitamin routine and my vitamin routine is, you know, I take some hormonal vitamins like magnesium. I take a lot of omega-3, 6 and 9. I take omega-9 separately because omega-9 separately makes you moist everywhere. <laughs> Such a disgusting word. Um, and then I take um, adrenal support. Um, so I take about six things, probably overdoing it. You read that people, a lot of scientists say, oh, these vitamins do nothing. If you take vitamin C, it will release from your body. There's a, there's a lot of stuff, but I've taken vitamin C quite religiously and I take a slow releasing one, which I've shared with you, it's on the blog. And what that allows me to do is just actually um, feel better. I do feel better from it. If I've got a cold coming, I'll double up, I'll take 6,000 milligrams in a day, I'll do that for three days and I'll feel that my cold is, um, is going. So name of the scrub I used, please. Name the scrub I used. Victoria, do feel free, because I can't see the questions easily, to say stuff. Now, I've lost the scrub. Can you believe I've lost the scrub? That would be insane. I'm going mad here. Yeah, it's here. That's why it's on my double letter bus. There. Omrits are cover, and it's called the um, Refining Facial Polisher. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, let me show you. I have got, and I'm, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be trying. There's the lovely people at, um, shit, I'm going to forget the name, uh, Studio 10, which was some makeup that I reviewed, and it's makeup that's been designed for women over 30. But they're all cream-based, great makeup range. I do like quite a few of their products. So she sent me um, something to say thank you because I'd done, I got and bought her stuff and liked it. And then this appeared in my um, office. I went yesterday and I saw it. Rejuvenated, which I got weirdly from somebody else there. I got this one ages ago, which is the collagen shots. Now, 
any doctor you speak to, especially Dr. Seabag, will say taking collagen, or taking a collagen pill, cannot penetrate enough to your dermis uh, to help. And he's quite strict about that. But I'm not going to listen to him and I'm going to try. And I just want to tell you what I'm trying. I'm going to try it for the next month and I'm going to tell you if I feel a difference. So I'm going to try the collagen shots, which is a powder. Um, and I'm going to try the hydration H3O. Okay, that's what I'm going to try. Separately from that, and I don't know if this is a wrong or right thing to do together, but I'm going to do, because I don't want to wait six months before I tell you, is I had lunch with a friend of mine at the weekend um, who looked incredibly well. He is, he is getting on. And he said, have you tried Elysium? This, all right. And I said, no, and I looked it up. And it was kind of interesting. And it's very complicated to even understand what it does, but I'm just going to read you. Hello, is there anyone there? Who are you? Oh, well, that's lovely neck. Thank you very much. What's the name of the scrub? Um, the scrub is Omrit's oh, Cover. We'll put everything down later. Um, anyway, me metabolic repair. So the one thing that we do know is our metabolism does slow down as we get older. And this company, whatever it is, has about 40 scientists on it. Just go and read about it. I spent a few days now reading on the internet about it. And I'm quite excited to take it. So you take two in the morning, two at night. It's like $30 a month or $40 a month, which is uh, £30 a month. So it's sort of a pound a day. Uh, and he just feels that his whole energy levels have changed. Now, I don't think I need more energy, but that is interesting. Uh, so go and read about it and see what you think. Done. I mean, someone's asking, have you tried the 10-step Korean method for skincare? Mm, the 10-step Korean method for skincare... Um, what I have done is I've double cleansed for many years and I do use a floral essence and then I use a toner and then I use things. So if the 10 step, if by the 10 step you mean that, then sort of. If you mean something different, I'd love to know. You know me, I love a new routine. All right. Um, the other one I just used, by the way, was cosmetics. There we go. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to go next to my most disgusting smelling mask, but this is going to make me feel better, um, which is I, the, the most beyond disgusting smelling mask, which is the Mask Vivant. I wore it last time in the back of a cab, do you remember? Um, but it is like putting on... Oh, Victoria, you've got to come and smell it. Tell me what you think it smells like. Because I can't be the only one in the room who thinks that I know what it smells like and not say Come here, I want everyone to see your reaction. Oh, that is awful. Is it like poo? It's like poo. It's like, it's like poo. it is like, I'm not saying I'm putting on poo, but it feels like I'm putting on poo. Now, if any of you can bear that sense that you're putting on poo, all right, then there will be a reward for that. Um, and Biotti Lake Recharge has that lovely toner that we always talk about. Uh, and it has three products I really like. The third one, for life me, I can't remember now, but they're good. Good products, good ingredients. I'm gonna keep that on for 10 minutes whilst I talk to you about it. It does look like poo too. A new range. A new range called Issa Mix is coming to the UK soon. It's supposed to be an amazing supplement system. Ooh, good. I would love to know what other supplement systems you're all on because we are Trini Tribe. We want to share what our knowledge and I think this is a very important thing. But a few little things I want to talk about. How many of you feel you want to be more organised? Because I have used my iPhone for many years now for everything, for my diary, for my contacts, and I make notes on it in the notes section. But what I find, because I was somebody who loved bits of paper, is that I don't remember the notes I've made, or I don't go back to them. I, you know, making shopping lists, I'll go back to that, but otherwise I don't. So I thought to myself, I've got so many things at the moment to do with this new business I'm doing that I need to remember. There's like lots of people I need to remember to ask different things about. There's sections of my little business I need to ask people about and do. So I indulge this weekend. I so indulge. It's, to me, this is like having sex, okay? <laughs> I got, I went into Anya Heinmarch um, and I got this uh, diary thing, but it's so special. So it's got two sections, all right? It's got, it's got two things that you can slot in um, little plain paper. So I've done that, slotting in plain paper either side. And then I got little, from Muji, 
I got these little post-it note things like that, okay, and I um, put them in. So I now have, so I'll give you a back example here. So these are the people here who um, work with me. So I've got a little page on Lila at the top, things I have to remember to do with Lila. Fleur's my PA, Mark's my COO, and the people there. And I go to the page and I write things that I need to remember. And then here, this is my favourite bit. This is my favourite bit. So, um... This, very quickly, I'll show you, because this is a business I can't talk too much about. This is all the things I'm developing. And so I put, when am I going to develop them? And I can move these around because I've created this sticky label moment. And it's just, it's just fantastic. I feel so organised. And all that sort of thought I had um, of, my God, I'm really getting Alzheimer's. I'm really forgetful. I feel less forgetful having this here and being able to see it and going to different things. Anyway, it's just, I don't know how many of you are f think like me but it really really is helping me and uh and it's and i'm it's the most joyous thing to fill in <laughs> joyous joyous when my daughter age 13 always loves a station shop she goes to a station shop and she says oh, look at this and 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 look at my folder i'm creating for work and all the little stickers i'm doing and i kept thinking in the back of my head always lila might be watching now because she's in france um Oh my God, is she doing any work? Or is she just obsessed with placing her stationery in the right way? So it looks nice, you know, that's because she's like that. But I was like that as a child and I'm like this now as a 53 year old woman. Oh, anyway. Um, okay, uh, you still use a file effects. Thank you, I'm not the only one. It's, and you know what I really liked? Uh, you spent hours creating planners and then never use them. Oh no. Okay. Um, so I, what I really like is because I work four days a week in this tech company and all the people there, are, they come into their meetings and they're all in their 30s, 20s, 30s, incredibly exciting, stimulating people. They have a notebook. So it makes you feel good. It makes you feel I'm very current. Okay. Neil's Yard. I want to talk about Neil's Yard because I've always loved Neil's Yard. I don't know how many of you know the brand. It's an English brand. It's still owned by the family. I think they live in Notting Hill. And I remember it from, God, I don't know when it started from, but I always remember it in my life. And they had, they were probably the best mainstream um, aromatherapy shop that was around. And there still are a few shops in London. It started actually in Covent Garden was their first one, I think, Neil's Yard. And they have a sort of apothecary and then they have their range. And their range goes from, you know, kind of things for acne skin, things for dry skin, things for oily skin. So they have four ranges. But they do have, um, one thing I've always used is their frankincense range. And they had a frankincense cream, which is kind of in a container like that. But this is their packaging. And they just brought out... I don't know how long ago, because I'm never, you know, in on this. I just go in the shop and then find it. But they brought out a frankincense in tents. And the woman in the store, I love chatting to the women in a store, in a store like that, because um, any PR who might want to send me this stuff will have their blurb. But I kind of get so much more from those women. And I said, what do you use, you know, from the, this range? And she went through everything she used and didn't use. And, and I just liked her honesty. But this frankincense, first of all, if you know the smell of frankincense, it's that intense, you know, frankincense and myrrh, uh, think incense, think Catholic churches. It's that kind of smell. It's got the most delicious smell, but it really does. I'm going to put it on in a second because it really does lift the face and tighten it without feeling your eyes are crepey underneath. I'm, I just tried it all weekend and I effing love it. Really love it. Nicola said she's got a sample last week and she loves it. Oh, uh, Nicola, I'm so glad you do. I think it's fantastic. Why is she on my feed? Oh, why are you on my, I don't know. Okay, let me go to here. So we've got, it's a great product. Thank you, it's a great product. Yes, it is a great product. Okay, um, now I'm going to just end Instagram and I'm gonna go on to just you guys because it's very confusing for me to do both. Um, so another smell that I really, is, is one of my all-time favorite smells, is their geranium and orange hand wash. And you ask me often to do something on fragrance. I like citrus, citrus fragrances. I like some tea rose type of fragrances. I like vetivers. I, I love, my favorite fragrance is Neroli and sandalwood. So that's the kind of family I live in. Actually, sandalwood and Neroli are two very different families. Um, because years ago, I worked uh, in Paris 
for a company called Cajon, which is a fragrance house, and I was helping somebody to develop a fragrance. So I worked with the nose man. I think that's why I'm so obsessed with smells, whether they're pungent, like I've got on my face, or delicious and fresh, like the rose uh, geranium and rose hand wash. But if you want a hand wash where every time you wash your hands, or somebody comes to your house and washes their hands, they're gonna come out and go, what's that lovely smell? Because I used this for seven years, and then I went two weeks ago to a friend of mine's house, uh, Tashi, and I was in her bathroom, and I washed my hands with this, and I came out and I went, Tashi, what's that wonderful smell? I know it. And I thought, mm, hell, I'm gonna get it again. So, it's good now. Shame they don't do more on the makeup side. Um, and, oh, I, I'm going to tell you about the makeup side. Yes, so when I was in there, the woman said to me, because um, I was looking at some of their makeup and thinking, this looks really tired. And she said they're doing a new makeup range. So, that's bloody exciting. It really is exciting because I think their makeup range was looking incredibly tired. Um, Instagram was drove, wasn't it? Oh, okay. So, can you just all... Oh, oh, relief. I've now got, because I'm not in my normal location, so I've got a sort of old-fashioned sink uh, bowl here. I'm doing a little bit. Oh, oh, that's just delicious. Trini, Penny's asking how many scrubs do you use a day? I do, darling, you know what? I don't like use 10 scrubs a day. I do a lot of this to show you ladies stuff I do, but I do scrub every day. And I do always talk about the benefits of scrubbing. I'm gonna take away that water now. And I'm gonna go on to little range. I'm also getting their frankincense toner. I never knew they did a toner. Somebody said to me on the last one, you know, use a toner with your fingertips because you'll get a lot more on it. So I'm doing that instead of, um, using a cotton cloth and it is actually better and I think it's good when you do a toner to use your hands because you're sort of you want to let it go into your skin and just feel it just feel it go in it's a very nice toner this I really really like this toner oh this you know what it's a very, very good product. Very good product. Okay, I was going to do a little bit of facial oil for you this morning. How many of you would like a facial oil moment of just that kind of massage moment? Oh, anyway, that, that was my idea. So, because I don't know if I'm going to get time to do a Secret 7 this week and I was going to do facial oils. So I'm just going to tell you, I brought it up. Where did I put it? I brought it all up to do. Hang on a second. Yes, I've got it here. I've got it here. Okay. Can I say, things I'm still using, I'm loving, the Super Balm from the White Company. It's fantastic, I'm using it every night. I'm really loving it. Um, and I was going to try on one side, two very different ones. The Organic Abnormal Company. I'm going to use their Rosehip seed oil on one side. And on the other side, I'm going to use Votary, which is a news company, their seed oil. Now, Votary started by two girls. I think I talked to you about this last week, and I said I was starting to try the products. They're two girls who just look gorgeous. You look at the videos, and you think they look like lovely supermodels. And, um, and they, you know, are kind of, I think, nutritionists. I'm not sure. I felt they were. Uh, and they just um, decided they wanted to do very organic ingredients. So I'm not going to be able to rub this in my hand. So normally I would do that, but I don't want to change the oils, all right? So these are two similar oils, and the consistency, I'd say of the Ordinary Company, the consistency is a bit more liquid, and sometimes for an oil, I just want more texture there, but I'm smelling, in both of them, I'm smelling the Rosehip or Grapeseed. I think, sorry, the Abnormal Beauty Company, I think is Rosehip. One second, let me just get that right. Let me get that right. Rosehip. Rosehip seed oil and the votary is a super seed oil so they're using more than rosehip seeds, they're using other seeds. But these seeds, oh I've, I've got to mix them at the bottom, sorry. <laughs> I've got to mix them at the bottom. Look at the balm, balm, balm range. Let me just see what I'm saying. I love people telling me about new products. Range of products, all organic. Can I ask you, how many of you look at organic as your first choice? Because it's interesting for me, it's important the products are not made badly. It's important that they're sort of, 
you know, I don't feel that things have been harmed. Gluten-free, I don't, that wouldn't appeal to me because I don't have a problem with gluten. Um, sometimes I do actually want to feel there's some quite strong ingredients in there uh, because I think only the stronger the ingredients, the more it can help my skin. But I think what's interesting with organic ranges now is there's a lot of people using like samphire as a natural retinol and they're looking for these ingredients that are really strong in uh, ordinary ranges like, um, well, not ordinary ranges, but super ranges. So like the ordinary will have those specific uh, ingredients which are quite strong they're looking for the alternative in organic. So I'm interested in companies to do that. So I think that 320 MHZ, MHS, MHZ, which um, has, do I have it here? God, it'd be so good if I had it. Yeah, yes, this company uh, does a night oil. That night oil contains samphire, which is a natural retinol. So if you want to get retinol from your products and you don't want to use chemical products, then consider that. I think it's a very good product. I use the one, I use that one and I use a really good one every night, which is their hand and nail treatment because I don't want my toenails to look yellow for the summer and it's helping. I'd love to show you now, if I was ambidextrous, I'd show you my feet, but they're really improving. Anyway. Trini, someone's asking, can you use, uh, Bernie, can you use facial oils if you have rosacea? For sure. I mean, there's one fantastic um, oil that I would recommend for rosacea, which a lot of people recommend, which is, um, let me just see if God is going to help me here. Uh, um, Trilogy, Trilogy's rosehip seed oil. I think rosehip is good for rosacea. And tr if you look at Trilogy's, uh, it's a red bottle, you can get it in John Lewis and lots of places. Um, and it's 100% organic rosehip oil. And there's one which also has rosehip and vitamin C, a different type of vitamin C. Um, but it says especially good for rosacea and, and skin intolerances. So yes, I think you can. Now when I do my little massage, you've all seen me do different massages, but I do a mixture of, sometimes when we sleep, we get a furrowed brow. So I, well, I don't get too much of a furrowed brow because I have Botox, but you know, I get this bit in here. So I do this sort of scissoring around my forehead I'll scissor, 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 like that. Scissor amongst my frown line here. Um, and if I have a little one, it could be also because I do that as well as my Botox. Mm -hmm. Then I'll do, I'm doing this very quickly because I have done this before and I want to get on some really good makeup. So I will also take up my middle finger and I will close down my eyes and do that 30 times. And that lifts my brow. Then I'll do my kind of plumping up, plumping up, plumping up, lifting my cheekbone like that so i'll do this really quickly you know i'll do this after the shower sometimes what i'll do is i'll put a facial oil on then go in the shower let the heat of the shower not if i'm washing my hair but let the heat of the shower just um sort of open up the pores of my face and then come out and then do that for two minutes as i'm just getting ready even if you just did that every morning just that gentle stimulation then i'll gently pinch pinch and lift pinch and lift pinch and lift pinch and lift then I might do A E I O U A E I O U for the neck. By the way, I just have to say these oils are lovely. They're interchangeable. Um, long term, I'm sure Votary might have a little bit more to their ingredients because there is a difference of a hundred pounds between these two oils. Isn't that incredible? But. Um, using them, they feel identical. The ordinary feels identical. The ordinary's oil, I think, is about nine pounds. Can you look it up, Victoria? The rosehip seed oil, and votary is, I don't know, maybe a bit more. So, long-term benefits, I don't know. They might be very different, but using them on the skin, feeling their penetration, seeing how they work with my skin. Nine pounds. Nine pounds is the ordinary, and the votary super seed facial oil like to give you the stuff right away. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take that off. Um, I'm using still my rubber face roller. I haven't got it right here with me, but I, I love that. So when I've done an oil, I usually take off the excess. So I've done my little massage. Now I'm gonna put on for you because I bought it and I love it and I want to show you properly. I forget, I put things up on my little rail here. I'm going to do the frankincense and I'm just gonna show you because it's really great, really great. So those of you who just joined, Frankincense Intense, there we go. Um, 
So it starts off and it rubs in easily. Do you know what I mean? You know when something rubs in really well and then suddenly it's not going to anymore. So it starts off well and you feel it's slightly dry, not drying, but you know, it's rubbing in. It's still got a good amount of hydration, but I will put a little moisturizer on over this. But it's really, I feel my skin is so woken up now. This is, there, there it's gone on. It's great. It's really, really one of my top favorite new creams. How exciting, so exciting. Okay, I had, a, I had a makeup routine for you here. A little makeup routine for you. I've gone back to using, I have to take down my hair because oh, I can do my hair in a second. Um, I've gone back to using the Le Embrolies SPF 20 because I'm optimistic that we will get some sun. Now, I don't know if we will or not, but I really want to believe we will. It's so cold this morning. How cold was it, Victoria? So cold. So cold. Is anyone asking any questions, darling? Yeah, so okay. um, Claire's asking, does it affect your makeup if you put facial oil over it? Over it, yes. Under it, no. Depends what kind of foundation you use. But I've got the residue of the oil, which I took off with a cloth. And then I've now got the frankincense serum on. So I'm going to go straight to the Le Embrolies, um SPF 20. Now, this, the only bad thing about this product range is it's just done for white skin. It's like sometimes French companies don't know that we are a multi, uh, you know, skin uh, society because the light, the darkest they do is one shade darker than this, which is insane. But the consistency of it is good. I'm sorry for those people who have a darker skin because I want you to have this product. But also it has SPF 20. So I think paler skins do need an SPF more. Um, but every skin likes to wear an SPF actually. So hopefully one day this will change. The consistency of this product is between a tinted moisturizer and a moisturizer in terms that the amount of product on it is not that much but it gives a very nice finish. There's a slight slight pearlization not huge but I love it. I, I remember I discovered it about um, six months ago and then I found it again in my bathroom but I really like it and then another little friend it's a bit of a high street find today is I'm going again back to the bourgeois uh, concealer and this concealer it's got a funny name to it I'm using it number two anti uh, anti-age concealer basically anti-ridge isn't that old friend was calling okay so I'm just going to put that gently here and out and here and now I'm just doing my makeup for the morning now I've got a meeting in oh I got a meeting in 10 minutes got a meeting in 10 minutes okay um any other yeah, Michelle's questions asking, does it smell like sunscreen no it doesn't it smells like um Embrolise Le Embrolise has a wonderful smell and it's I don't know how you can describe the smell of Le Embrolise let me go back and smell it for you um like a nice French mid-range mm. like a nice French mid-range moisturizer you know that's what it smells like, if that makes any sense to you. Um, but the Bourjois concealer is a bloody good concealer. I really, really like, like, would I use an expensive concealer compared to this? This is always my, my um, question at the end of the day. I don't know how long it lasts. That's the one thing I'm going to come back to you on. In fact, we'll write on the blog later how long it lasts, because I've never checked how much I, um, I top up this concealer. But do you see, I am now looking fresher. I'm fresher because I've done so much to my face this morning. And then I just wanted to talk very quickly, and then I'm going, about it's getting to be spring. The weather in England is shit. But should we consider some bright lip colours? And there's two things I want to try. One is, I've got actually four colours here. I just loved. I put them on last night in my bath, and I thought, I must show you all that. So if you wanted to be really fresh how many of us can actually wear tangerine let's put that on mm. okay there's tangerine this is a crayola um clinique color and it is what i call tangerine yes but it's fresh do you see and then i think when you're wearing a color like this i'm going to show you three colors what's really important is to wear a color like this if you wear it with black it does one thing, all right? But if you wear it with white, let me try on my new French Connection white bomber jacket, which I'm loving. 
if you wear it with white, and I'm going to put a bit more on now to, to show you this, I think it makes you feel summer is coming and it's got a real freshness to it. And I think what's very good about this, when you wear bright colours and you're no longer 20, the consistency of the product is so key. It's got to be very flattering to your lips. So what you could do if your lips are getting dry, I'm going to give you two great products. One, if you don't have a man who wants to kiss you all night long, is to consider Laniège, which is a lip sleeping mask, which I have used. And you wake up in the morning and your lips are so plump and unlined. It's fantastic. But then the more I talk and don't drink water all day, the more line they get. So, but this is really good. Uh, but to wear a bright lip, you need to look after your lips. You need to scrub them. You need to really plump them out. And so that color I love from um, Clinique. That's my first one. I'm going to take that off and show you another one. Mm. Asking, she has dark eyes, dark hair, light skin. Can she use corals or tangerines? Dark eyes, dark hair, and light skin. I think you can use tangerine. This is to me a very strong color. Now, when I wear a color like that, it kind you know what it does? It makes me think um, that it feels quite modern. So if I wore it with a very casual outfit uh, and I wore a, maybe a tiny bit of an eyeliner, I quite like that color. It is quite strong for me. And I think if my hair was a little darker, like the lady who's saying if I have that dark hair, mm -hmm. but you know, it, ch it changes your look and feel to your face, but it does, I do see the lip before I see me. All right, but I, I would wear that when I had a little bit of tan in the summer. Tiny, tiny fake tan in the summer. Okay. Then we've got, I'd say that was the Maybelline. Then we've got a pink version of that, which is really shocking pink. These are so easy to apply, these Maybellines. Do you remember I had it in, oh, no, sorry, I'm so sorry, this is L'Oreal. I had this, do you remember, in red, like a, a kind of, like a real red. So the colors it also comes in are the first one I tried on, which is that color, and then the pink. But that, that's really, I like that color. I think that's quite nice with blue eyes. I think it'd be not, I think you've got to try them. You've got to go in and think, what do I see first? Has the color of my hair changed? Does my skin look fresh? Do my eyes look bluer? If you have brown eyes, do my brown eyes look stronger? So this, I feel I see my blue eyes better than when I was in the tangerine. So I'm going to go for the L'Oreal. My final choice is, mm, hang on, I got two choices actually, is this one from Clinique. They do these Crayola crayons and this is a darker colour and I did quite like this. Like that. What's best for blondes, Deborah? Um, what's best for blondes? I think that, I think a tangerine can look fantastic for blondes. But now we're on to colour. Let's talk, let's talk hair. Let's talk, because I have some colour, I have some hair. Where's my hair gone? Where did I put my hair? I have my hair, two round things. Here they are. Okay, so that was just some lip ladies. Um, you know what I'll do is I'll put something on later of the best colours for different uh, skin, hair and eye combos, okay? So look on the blog later, I promise I will do that later on today and I'll go through it, I'm just not thinking straight. Um, but I'll put those four up so you can see what those were. And I just wanna end up with, you know I like to end up with a bit of hair. So Hershison's, do you remember before, they had that hair and I bought it and I bought the wrong color. So I just tried to buy the right color now because I want to see if this will work. So I bought this one which is, um, I think it's light brown. And I thought that was quite similar to my hair color. You see, that is quite similar to my hair color actually. Uh, they cost 80 pounds, but their hair is fake, but there's, it's really good hair. It's not these kind of hair companies which uh, have cut it badly. I, I like the way they've layered it a bit. So, do I want to have longer hair? Shall I do it without this? Um, I'm just going to take this off, actually, so we can see better how long the hair is. Um, so, the thing about this company, you have to keep your front hairline. So I'm going to keep that front bit of hair, 
like that because it's going to go slightly behind my hairline and what's good about these is it means that it's hopefully not going to look so fake because the last one I did looked so fake all of you will remember it was just a nightmare it's got these little clips here like that anyone asking questions darling I feel I'm rattling oh, along the hair is synthetic so I can get Victoria could you look and see on this little brochure if you could see at all what the hair is made from uh, it's synth synthetic fibers so I don't know so it's that way around I'm going to put this bit am I going to put any of my hair underneath it I presume not I'm going to put that bit there on my crown put it in and ow snip it and that's fine it wasn't actually that painful and then I'm going to do the sides like that and ah snap it down snap it down snap it down there okay I haven't done the back bit because I don't quite know yet do I put the back bit onto my own hair I'm not sure but I'm going to actually I'm just going to I don't know if you should put your hair inside it whatever I'm just going to do this this half-hearted attempt for now so I then arrange my own hair on top like that um, I could brush it all in together a bit let me brush it all in together but do you remember my last attempt with this lady? It was so bad because it was such a bad colour. And I feel this colour is better. I don't know if I want to have longer hair again. But if I did, if I did, if I did, if I did, it's not bad. It's not bad. So for a bit of summer, you can't tell now, can you? Can you tell it's not my hair? Can you tell, honestly? I don't know if I want to have this hair like this length. It took me a long time to get off this length, but I kind of, there's something interesting about it. You could always have it down to one side. When you get to a certain age, you've got to be very careful how long your hair is. And I think there's ways of wearing it. So that, that's a Jerry Hall moment. You know, that big forehead, hell, hello, hello. But Jerry is gorgeous. I think if I was to do this long hair, I'd try and change my parting perhaps for a central parting and do something a bit different. So, oh no, that's dreadful. Oh, I don't know what I'll do. I'm gonna play with it and then I'm gonna wear it one day and I'm gonna see how quickly any of you notice it. But I think if I mess around the front like that, just to give it a bit of, a bit of oomph, um, it's got potential. It's got potential. I'm gonna wear it all day today and see what people say. Says it's great, Trini, they love it. Well, you know what? I think it's. I think you know when I'd wear it in the summer when I'm on holiday. When if I don't take a hairdryer with me and a half a suitcase of products, my hair is a frizz bomb. I could just put this on top, tuck my frizzy hair underneath, and go out for dinner, and it would be a dream. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, have a lovely week. I've been so long. I've been nattering on. I'm sorry. And on Thursday, we're going to do... You know what I'm going to do on Thursday? I'm going to do Selfridges, the third floor, and visit all those stores you've been asking me about, mid-range stores. I'll be doing it at 5.30. Don't want to broadcast too loudly because Selfridges won't know. But we're going to sneak around and look at the kind of... All the little stores. I might even go to Self Portrait because I've always wanted to show you that as a shop. Um, and they have a, little, they have a little stand there. Anyway, ladies... Go for it this week. Just do it.